what I would call tier four. Um, this is when you're confident you can fry, you can, you know, boil an egg, you can uh, uh, cook some carrots, um, you're moving on and maybe you have family to cook for now. Here's what I would call tier four and that would be a Dutch oven, which I would, a stainless steel Dutch oven, which I would only recommend Paderno. I'm sure there's others, but I don't know enough about them to recommend to you. I'm going to recommend the Paderno Dutch oven. And then there is also the Paderno stock pot, okay? Um, they are essentially the exact same pan, except this one is taller. When I figured that out, I stopped buying the Dutch oven and I, like for family gifts for wedding and so forth, I would just give everybody the stock pot because the stock pot has the exact same bottom. It has the aluminum bottom with the triple stainless steel clad uh, uh, um, covering and um, you can make chili or a spaghetti sauce or cream sauces or whatever in the Dutch oven and you can also make the same thing in the stock pot. You can just make more of it, okay? Now, um, neither of these pans are meant to be high heat pans as with any Paderno pan on my oven, two or three, or sorry, on my stove, two or three is the highest I would ever put them. Um, but the great news is you can cook for hours and hours if you want to. Um, you can go up to four if you want, and then you can make your chili be thinner if you want. But you can um, put this pan full of chili, spaghetti sauce, uh, curry, um, stock, especially when I'm boiling stock, salsa, uh, mince meat, different things that I make that take a long time to cook. You can put them in here. You can cook them overnight. Um, because of the heavy, heavy, heavy bottom, and I'm only cooking, let's say, between two and three, um, if I'm making salsa in August, I put all the tomatoes and everything else in the pot on Friday evening or Friday afternoon, and it cooks all night Friday, all night Saturday, and I put it in the jars on Sunday when it's very thick and very rich and it's been caramelized and it, it just has such a fantastic flavor. It's awesome. Um, and, and when I pour the salts out of the pan, the bottom looks just like that. There's no burning, there's no sticking, there's uh, no scrubbing, no cleaning. And in the odd case where I do neglect uh, what's on the stove and something did stick to the bottom, which is rare, rare, um, you spray it with oven cleaner and let it sit and then scrape it out and you're good to go again, okay? So um, that's the Dutch oven. And here's a stock pot in which I have made gallons and gal you know, hundreds, maybe thousands of gallons of soup. I put in the, the beef bones and the turkey bones and the carrots, the onions, the celery, the bay leaves, and I leave it there for a minimum of 24 hours, okay? So um, these are both great pans. They are not, they're great pots, I should say. They're technically their pots. I would not recommend that somebody who is just learning how to fry an egg, spend $100 each on either of these two pans. Um, however, once you're kind of past that, you've got some good sauce pans, you've got a good pasta cooker, these are great things to buy. The Paderno pasta cooker, which I think is just about this size, it's the stock pot size, uh, comes where you get the bottom that has the triple ply uh, stainless steel bottom with the aluminum pad, exact same bottom, but it also has the strainer, it also has a lid, so you could use that to cook pasta. You could use it to, um, to make stock. You could use it to make, it has four different uses or more. You could use it to make things that cook low and slow. You could use it to boil pasta. Um, there's just so many, you could use it to make soup. There's so many things that you could do it. So if I was gonna spend money, if I had a budget, and I could buy the stock pot, or I could buy the Paderno pasta cooker, the big one, or even the middle size one if you're just one or two people. Um, I would buy the pasta cooker because with the pasta cooker, which is on sale right now, I think for $89, with the pasta cooker, you get a stock pot, you get a strainer, you get a lid, and you can make all of those things. Um, you could cook corn on the cob, you could cook potatoes, all those things. Just lift out the strainer and away they go. So if I was going to make a, a, a choice on spending between a Dutch oven, a stock pot, and a pasta cooker, I'd buy the pasta cooker first every single time. Unfortunately, I don't have a Paderno pasta cooker to show you, but I know that they uh, there's, a, I think, an 11-quart version on sale right now uh, for like $89. Um, 
I would definitely purchase it. It would definitely be a good tier for purchase, okay? Um, and I'll put the link to the Paderno factory sale in the directions underneath. I don't have all the, um, uh, the prices off the top of my head, but I know that this pan here, which they claim is worth $300 outside of the sale, I've never spent $300 on this pan. At the most, I've spent $100. And then um, this one also, like I've gotten for $89 in the pasta cooker, best deal ever I got for $69. So um, there you go. This is tier four. You don't, you know when this comes in handy, when you're cooking for your family on Sunday and you want to make enough chili or enough pasta sauce or enough soup of some kind to last for the whole week and freeze it. Um, you know, if you're cooking for one person, unless you're, I don't know, unless you're giving a lot away to the Salvation Army or something. We know a single person doesn't need these pots, but once you're into serious cooking and you're cooking and freezing ahead for your family, um, either the Dutch oven or the stock pot, but primarily the pasta cooker, which is all of them in one, um, are definitely a good investment for you and your family. And you know what? 30 years from now, you'll still be cooking in them. 50 years from now, you'll still be cooking in them. That's why they call them pots for eternity. So, and again, I buy them on sale. I don't buy the, I don't buy seconds. I buy them on sale, but here's tier four for you. The big Dutch oven, the big stock pot, or even better, the Paderno pasta cooker. Sick of reality TV. I'm so tired of my girlfriend ignoring me. I sure could use a little. Here's what I would call tier four. Um, this is when you're confident you can fry, you can, you know, boil an egg, you can uh, uh, cook some carrots, um, you're moving on, and maybe have family to cook for now. Here's what I would call tier four, and that would be a Dutch oven, which I would, a stainless steel Dutch oven, which I would only recommend Paderno. I'm sure there's others, but I don't know enough about them to recommend to you. I'm going to recommend the Paderno Dutch oven. And then there is also the Paderno 